Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Carson Cloud. In this video, I'm going to show you the process how to update Microsoft Teams. So if you receive or get a report on Teams vulnerabilities by from QualiScan or any other utilities, um, to in order to update teams there isn't a way that you can deploy the update through SCCM or WSUS so there is no administrative updates the only way to update Microsoft Teams is through the user login so soon as user login Microsoft Teams um, automatically updates if it has a new update. So it does check in updates every three hours or every two to three hours. If any updates available in Microsoft, it's going to automatically install the updates. Just say if you have a user that have not logged in for the last two or three weeks, his profiles will show old teams. So each teams or each install, each team install, it's install the teams exe under each user profiles. And if you look at, I have two profiles here on my test computer. This is Carson and this is Bobby. As you can see, there is there are two teams exe and if i take a look at this properties of this teams exe exe and if you look here the file version is 1.3.0.13565 let me move this over and if i look at this one here for carson As you can see here, the version is older than under Bobby. So that means this account, Carson, this user have not logged into this machine for a while. That's why it has the old version of, of Teams. So in order for me or, or uh, I'm an administrator to update teams for this user this user has to log in there isn't a way to to do that from from Microsoft or from any kind of utilities and if you look at the Microsoft teams updates uh, documentations here teams update process and it tells you how teams are being deployed are being updates and here it says can admins deploy update instead of teams auto auto updating the answer is team does not give admins the ability to deploy update through any delivery mechanism and if you scroll down so it tells you how often does Teams get updates. So to answer your question, if you're looking to deploy Teams updates due to, due to vulnerability, there isn't a way for the administrator to update. Each individual user has to log in to Microsoft Teams and it's automatically get updates. So thank you for watching. This is all I have for Microsoft Teams updates. Have a great day.